it's Bronwyn, and today I just realized that we've been going at this blogging thing and this YouTube thing for a little while, and and I haven't told you what curriculum we're using. So I wanted to talk to you first today about our math curriculum. So stick around, and I'll show you what we're using. Okay, first off, we do a few things to try to make it all you know flow and I know that a lot of moms do a couple of different curriculums to help their kids understand math and really absorb it and and you know apply it in their life we want to be able to we hope that they'll be able to grow up and apply what math they learn to whatever they're doing because you use math in everything so at least the basics in everything whether it's being a stay-at-home mom even if you put your kids in school somewhere you're cooking Unless you can hire a cook, which I really wish I could. Anyway, but um, so what we do is we use Life of Fred, and this is just one of the Life of Fred books that we use. This is the one my six-year-old is on right now, and I like it because they're actually learning things that I mean they're learning algebra things in elementary school. They're learning um, they're learning things that. I never even knew. I never even got taught. I started homeschooling when I was 14, but I never learned any of this stuff, even in sixth grade. And, you know, it's crazy. It's awesome. I learn a lot just doing their math with them. It's so much fun. But it's not usually that, I don't know if you've seen Life of Fred before. I'm not going to go into all the details of what it is. I just recommend that you go. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and research it. I love this curriculum for my children, and they like to read it for fun. And, you know, they don't want to do the, the math problems for fun, but they like to read the story about Fred for fun. And I'm going to show you really quick. Don't you love how I'm making you wait for me? This is kind of how this works. In one of the chapters, at the end of the chapter, you have something that looks like this. Your turn to play. And they usually don't have much more than, I mean, sometimes they, sometimes they have more, but usually not much more than five questions at the end of each section. <sighs> and he repeats. I mean, he repeats it and he repeats and he repeats, and that's awesome. But my kids are still having trouble absorbing all of the information. And he even says, go memorize this before you move on. And so what we've done is I have a few math websites that I go to to get worksheets for them. I'll put the links in the description box and I also have it over on my blog myldshomeschool.traditionsandseason.com so you can go over there and you can see you know all of the resources that I'm using for math. I also create a lot of my own math worksheets. This is a quiz that I created. See how I hand wrote it <laughs> for my daughter. Um, my kids like it when I take the time to write it, plus sometimes times are tough, homeschooling is really expensive, and sometimes we just have to make up our own worksheets because we're out of printer ink or whatever, you know? So um, anyway, I do that, so we do a lot of, of practicing, see behind me on the wall, all these math facts, my kids never look at them, don't do this, these are coming down off the wall. I don't recommend it unless somehow you can get your kids to cooperate with you during devotional time or something like that and you go through all of them and you know two plus three is six or whatever because my kids don't cooperate with me to do that they just want to do so this is coming down and something else will be going up probably inspiration affirmations that sort of thing because I'm really into that um, anyway that's what we do for math um, Stay tuned because I'm going to be talking to you about what we do for language arts and why we started using My Tech High, um, why I like using um, some of the free online homeschooling that uh, is available to us and how it's helping my seventh grader blossom. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye bye. the grade that they're in. 